Our next speaker uh, is Dr. Yehuda Schoenfeld. Dr. Schoenfeld was here once before, won the uh, Outstanding Speaker Award. He's head of the Zabloblovich. I'm doing better. He said, this guy gave so much money, I need to learn how to pronounce it. Center for Autoimmune Diseases at Sheba Medical Center, Tel Hashemer, uh, Israel. If you haven't Googled Tel Hashemer and look at the size of this medical complex, it's amazing. I didn't, you know, I always thought he meant, you know, why isn't it in Tel Aviv? And then I Googled it and read about it. It's amazing. One of the biggest medical centers in the world. He's on the Sackler Faculty of Medicine at Tel Aviv University. He's incumbent of the Laura Schwartz Kipp Chair for Research of Autoimmune Diseases. Uh, he received his medical degree at Hebrew University. He was a resident then in uh, Israel and a fellow at uh, the uh, City of Hope, Tufts New England Medical Center in Boston. He's a master of the American College of Rheumatology. He holds 15 patents. He's published over 1,700 peer review articles. He's going to give us a talk on infections and autoimmunity. How can we harness nature to treat autoimmune disease? Yehuda. Thank you very much, David. I would like to thank you for bringing me for the third time. So I almost feel like at home with one difference that I came to the conclusion that you are one of the best organizers of Congresses in the world. It's not only by bringing such a wonderful program, uh, excellent speakers, but also controlling the weather. <laughs> because before I left Israel, everybody told me, ah, you will enjoy the seashore and the swimming pool. And I didn't know that you will prepare a pre tsunami stormy <laughs> weather that everybody will stay in the rooms. <laughs> so thank you for the weather. Be it as it may, I would like indeed to switch gear to um, a completely different aspect of autoimmunity. Uh, for years, I was known as uh, saying the slogan that everything is autoimmune until proven otherwise. And then I had to change it and to say that everything is infectious until proven otherwise. So today, I would like to go over uh, an idea that may actually uh, become practical, novel aspect of therapy, which will not be neither a biological therapy nor immunosuppressive drug for autoimmune diseases. And I will talk about our relationship with helminths, worms. And I will base in part my talk also on a recent book that appeared, uh, which named actually the uh, uh, absence uh, as a cause of the epidemics, and that's the absence of helminths, which caused the epidemic of autoimmune uh, diseases. So basically, uh, if we will go back to a paper that was published in New England Journal of Medicine by one of my friends, Jean-Francois Bach, which showed the increase in the prevalence and the incidence of different classical autoimmune diseases, being Crohn, multiple sclerosis, or type 1 diabetes during the years. And what he was able to show that actually it correlated with the di disappearance of many infecting agents uh, in our culture and in our um, uh, daily life, being bacterial, not viruses, but uh, basically also helminths. So if we'll summarize the etiology of autoimmune diseases, they, they are multifactorial and are caused by the mosaic of at least four groups of different uh, factors. One of them, which is without any question, is genetics, and we will come to it today in all my uh, talks. Uh, we do have specific HLA, which make you more prone to develop a, a different autoimmune disease. Some of them are common and are, co are the result for many different autoimmune diseases. Today we have the genes. We hope that we will have one gene, one disease, and then we were disappointed to find out that in SLE we have more than 37 different genes, which might explain the diverse clinical uh, manifestations. And other diseases have other different um, uh, genes too. You need to have some kind of an immune defect in your um, uh, immune system to enable the uh, um, appearance of auto